All I can say is wow, this temple is stunning. Oh my gosh. And not to mention we are completely alone here right now and we can, we can hear the sound of running water behind us. You can smell incense burning. It's so peaceful. What is up everyone? Today I am so excited. I'm traveling somewhere new. I got butterflies in my stomach. I'm heading down to Fujian province in the south of China where I'll be going to Fuzhou, Taimushan Mountain, and Fuding where I will be going to a local tea farm and learning about the processing and picking of tea on a mountain. I'm so excited and I cannot wait to experience this video with you. made it to Fujo, super excited. Time to go check out downtown. Figuring out our address here. How do? Thank you. Alright, we made it to downtown Fujo. The first stop of the night is gonna be the Fujo Old District. I think it's called Three Lanes and Seven Alleys. And then we're gonna do some more things and go to some night markets. Can't wait. The old district here in Fujo is really cool because it's got a lot of old wooden buildings everywhere. If there was a fire, it might burn down, but it's really cool to see and be a part of it. So all of us foreigners here got this private room with a vegetarian buffet, all you can eat. Night market time. Wow, the amount of food here is astonishing. So many food stands everywhere. So this market is called the Dan. Oh, disaster struck as a creator last night and at the night market my camera died and I didn't have a spare battery and my phone wasn't cutting it with good shots. But now it's the next day, it's 6.30 in the morning and we're about to grab a train and head to Taimushen Mountain where we're gonna hike some mountains, some peaks, and see some caves. About an hour and a half ride away from the Fujo railway station to the mountain. We made it to Taimu Shen. They have a really cool rest area before the mountain with all this tea. All this local tea.
not totally unexpected, but so we get to the train station, then we have to take a cab to the tourist center where we can buy a ticket to take a bus to the mountain. So, slow going so far. <laughs> Alright, so after 15 minutes on the bus going basically straight up, seeing the mountains, we're finally at the top. I realized getting up here that it's actually pretty hot and sunny out. I don't have a hat or sunglasses, so I bought one from a nice guy. 20 kwai. A lot of options here. And right now we're heading to a temple on the mountain, so that sounds amazing. Gaoxing Temple, or Guoxing Temple? Not sure on the name, but it looks really beautiful. Love that it's spring right now too. The flowers are just falling. It's so peaceful, so beautiful, and the smell is so amazing. All I can say is wow, this temple is stunning. Oh my gosh. The most amazing thing is right here behind me is this awesome temple, Guoxing Temple. I got the name right. But over here is the mountain with these amazing rock structures. This place is incredible. And we're up at the temple right now and there's a wonderful Chinese lady here who's teaching us the customs and she's having us take some incense and go inside and burn them and really experience this fully. So we each burn six incense sticks and we put three in this one here and then we put three in this here. Well after that experience, we're now heading up to the viewpoint to check out what it looks like from the top. If you think you're in shape, the ultimate test would be traveling to China and hiking a mountain and seeing how many stairs you can climb before you're out of breath. Oh my gosh. There's the temple we just visited. We're taking a little pit stop on the way to the peaks because we saw a sign that says for the Hulu-like caves. It's called Hulu Caves, so I feel like you just come in here, sit down, watch an episode on Hulu, you know, hang out. <laughs> really skinny entrance to these caves. They were heading through to get to the peak. Awesome hike though. These are really cool. Doesn't this rock structure look like a sad fish <laughs> drooling? <laughs> Classic China. Time for a lunch pit stop. I'm starving right now. Just ate my weight in food and now we're finally actually gonna go see the peaks. It's been a long time since I said that, but now we're doing it. Hey Curtis, what are you here to check out? I'm here to check out the really famous mountain. <laughs> no way, me too. I've heard some really good things. <laughs> <laughs> we went on to the huge circular rock at the top where you can get those incredible views. All right, I cannot believe these peaks. It's 360 degrees of amazing views. I can tell why this is called the really famous mountain. 
gets its name for a good reason. You can just see for miles and miles. We are descending the mountain, about to go catch a train to Fuding, where we're staying tonight. Time to get back on the bus. It's nighttime now and it's time for a crazy long nine minute train on the high speed rail at the Fuding. Alright everyone, we finally made it to the hotel after the long day on the mountain and tomorrow we're waking up bright and early again, heading out to a tea farm. We're going to pick tea and learn all about the processing of white tea here in Fuding. It's going to be a super great day tomorrow. But now, time for some sleep.